Hey guys, it's your boy Jack, and I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all can ask me for the entire review, I'm here with how my first month has been of school. So basically, this video is gonna be a quick little update video. Um, yeah, if y'all did not see, I did not upload last Friday. I was feeling like shit. I was sick. Um, just basically, a lot has happened that last week where I just couldn't. I couldn't upload. So basically, I'm gonna just tell y'all. What has happened my whole first month of school? It's, it, this is week four, so it's been almost a month. But yeah, before we start, if you guys are new to my channel, I appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 1K subscribers and we are so close. And once we get to the 1K, I'm gonna dye my hair, I might do a giveaway, and just, just I'm gonna have a fucking video ready for y'all, a special video for y'all. So, with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel and y'all do enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So basically, um, the month of August, I would say the like the end part, like the last two weeks of August, were pretty shit. So um, I'm not gonna expose anyone, say any names. I'm not trying to expose anyone. That's not my intentions. But I'm just trying to let y'all know my story because I feel like you guys are part of my life and I need to let y'all know what happened. So basically, the first day of school, um, here's a quick video. So if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't seen that video, check that out. That was my first day of school. I think that was August, what, 14, 16? It was, the first, it was a Monday, first day of school. And basically, what I found out on that first day, if y'all did not see this video, I'm about to spoil it. Basically, I had to cut the video short at the end because I said something came up. There's something that came up, I'm not gonna say who, um, but someone that I was encountered with had COVID. So basically what happened was I needed to go get tested ASAP so I could go to class, um, all, that, all that fun stuff. Um, I was very upset if you couldn't tell towards the end of the video because that was the first time I encountered someone who had COVID, or like for sure, and I was just upset because I was like, damn, my semester fun be over. This shit's tough. Fuck this, fuck that. Um, I was very mad uh, because that day I was I was gonna hang out with some more friends and probably go to the gym, all that good stuff. But yeah, I, instead I get tested and wait two days for my results. Um, getting tested was a pain in the ass because I didn't know where to get tested. That was the first time I had to get something shoved up my nose. I, I didn't know where to get tested. I look it up, I ask the person where they got tested, and eventually I found a place. I got tested by KSU, the Mayor the campus. Um, I had to like fucking make the appointment like ASAP. They had an appointment at two, and I, I called, it was like, I was like 145. I barely made it to the appointment, but I made it. Got the test, and um, at that point, I didn't have any symptoms. I wasn't coughing, no congestion, no soreness um yeah i was basically fine um the nurse asked i could still go to class until my results come in so i didn't get my results until like wednesday so like two days after um they came back negative thank god i wasn't i didn't have covid and i was just going back to normal doing what i was doing going to school going to class all that fun stuff so basically that was the biggest story of the first week um but you know i'm not mad it is what it is it be what it be um especially with the circumstance that we are in um it's it was bound to happen and yeah i'm not gonna say i was mad but i definitely was upset if that's two different things i was upset because i was just like damn i'm not gonna be able to make friends i was like oh they already finna have their friend groups by the time and i was like damn i don't want to get people sick I was just like, fuck. I was just over it at a loss of words, you can say. And especially since that was my first time like encountering someone who had COVID or just, you know, having to get tested. That was my first time and it was very, it's a, it was a whole new experience. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Week three, which was last week, the reason why I didn't upload. This one, this is, was when shit kind of went bad. Um. So basically, I started getting symptoms of COVID. So what happened was I I started quarantining because I, I, there was no point for me to get tested because I knew 
I, I had it when I couldn't smell the taste. So I said, fuck it, let me quarantine until I felt better. And what sucked was what did not help at all the situation. On Monday, I was going to class with a friend and I got hit from the back. I was driving to school and I got hit from the back. So with that being said, I had to deal with the whole getting hit from the back, the insurance stuff, all that stuff. My car is fine, I'm fine, my friend's fine, the person who hit me is fine. Everyone was fine. But the situation was just very annoying because I had missed class. Um, yeah, it wasn't it was not fun. And basically after that, I quarantined. Basically, they were saying you have to quarantine for 10 days, and that's why I did. And that was it was a terrible 10 days. I'm not even gonna lie. I was stuck in my room doing nothing, and I'm not gonna lie. It sucked because I had body aches from the accident because I got hit from the back. My back was hurting, my neck was hurting, like I was dealing with that and also I don't really think I got the COVID symptoms until I started coughing. Uh, I started coughing a lot, a lot of mucus, uh, it was ugh, disgusting, I had to spit every couple minutes. Um, it, it got like last Friday, it was so bad to the point where I was on the floor crying. I was on the floor crying because of how bad it was. Like. I'm, I don't know if it was COVID. Like I said, it could have been my body aches um, from the accident. Or also, I will say this: I also was. You know how you're not supposed to like blow the AC on like after you sweat in the hot weather? Because I did that the past like last year when I moved in, and I got sick because you're not supposed to do that. I also did that too. So I, I it was a mixture of things. So I don't know if I had COVID for sure, but I'm pretty sure I had it. Cause I was pretty, I was, I was down bad. <laughs> I was, I'm not gonna, I was down bad. Like, I still can't smell and taste. And so I probably had COVID. And I am fine, I'm okay, everything's all good. Um, I survived COVID. Um, right now the only thing I really have left is just a little cough. And I can't smell or taste. That, that's it. I tried the life hack with the burning the orange and with the brown sugar. It didn't work for me. Uh, might work for some people, but it did not work for me. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good in school. Um, school has been pretty easy. It's just time management. I got better at time management. And on to the update. I've been in quarantine, so I've been bored in my room, stuck in my room. And what have I been doing? I've been watching a lot of YouTube. And I came across an Elliot Troy video. Here he is. So the first video I came across was him giving away iPhone to Harvard students if they got these questions right. And then I came across another video, which was my college experience in 12 minutes. Here it is, and that video, he was crying because he was about to graduate. And it made me realize, I was like, damn, my college experience has been ass. My first two years have been ass. If you guys want a full story time on my first two years of college, why it's been ass, let me know down below. Hit that like button and let me know down below in the comments, and I will make that video for y'all. To conclude things, it was just, it made me think, I was like, damn, I don't want to be sad because my first two years have been ass. You know, I want to make the best of this because college is supposed to be the best time of your life. And so far it's been pretty ass for me. But with that being said, I wanted to have positive vibes. Only good vibes only. Um, I can't go back and change the past. The past is the past. And the only thing I can do is be myself and look forward for the future. Look forward to being the present because time is so valuable. Like legit, two years ago I was graduating high school and then now I'm, what, junior, sophomore in college? I'm basically, I'm almost done. And that's crazy because I'm just like, dude, time fucking flies. That shit, that shit flew. And now it's to the point where it's like, damn, I'm old. Um, but with that being said, I'm very motivated. I, I'm motivated with YouTube, with school especially, making good, genuine friends. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make memories with genuine friends. I'm trying to make content with friends. I want to just vlog, you know what I'm saying? I want to vlog with friends what we do in a week or what we do on the weekend. I want to make videos on campus. I have so many ideas. I have so many ideas that I want to do and I'm going to do it. I'm tired of just sitting here feeling sorry for myself, like I'm not good enough or anything, or like I'm unwanted. If you think with that mindset, 
that's what that's what your mind's gonna think that's what you're gonna end up being unwanted and you know what i mean you have to think with a it's a mindset thing it's really a mindset thing I, and i know it's way easier said than done but i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna bring y'all along on my journey and hopefully motivate y'all be you that's all i want i want i want to be able to inspire y'all i want to spread happiness and make people laugh and smile because there's so much sadness and negativity in the world be you bruh <laughs> I'm very motivated. I am. I have a lot of ideas coming. A lot of video ideas too. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, my channel is like I've told a lot of people why my channel hasn't grown because I don't have a niche. I don't do one thing. I do a little bit of everything. I basically do it all. Um, but that's the thing because that's me. One day I want to go film a vlog, but the next I want to go make a challenge. The other I want to go messing around in public. I want to do it all. I don't want to be known for it. Oh, I'm just that guy. I want to be known from just being me. Being a creative, weird ass fucking dude. A weird fucking goofy dude. That's who the fuck I am. The way y'all see me on camera is the way I am in person. And I have people to vouch for me. So with all that being said, I'm just saying stay tuned. On my grind, I'm about to hit 1k. That's gonna be a big milestone for me. I might even cry, I'm not gonna cap. I might cry a little, but it be what it be, bro. It's been such a long journey. It's such been it's been such a fun journey, bro. My college experience, yes, it has not been the best, but it's been a journey. And I can truly say that I would not be who I am, the guy I am, the man I am now, if it wasn't for everything I went through. So Yes, I have my moments where I'm sad about what happened from the past, but I'm also thankful for it because it, my past is what shaped me to be the man I am. Like this, like last week was shit. I was pissed. Last week I, I could uh, like I could genuinely say I was mad. I was mad. I, I couldn't upload um, the school. I couldn't go to class. I was behind a little bit. When I was mad, I was sick. But I, I can't, well, I, what, what can I change? I can't change it. The only thing I could do was get up and do it. At the end of the day, I make these videos for me so I can look back at how goofy I was. Yes, I hate hearing my fucking voice, but I'm just motivated to see what, how, well, like, the man I'm becoming. If you look back at my very first video on this channel, you could see from just that video to this video, the quality was ass, this is way better. The editing was ass, this is not that better, but better. Um, and just, I feel like you can even just see my personalities changed. I de my looks, I definitely, I definitely glowed up. I got cuter. <laughs> the facial hair makes you look cuter. But it's just like, I'm happy with my, the way my life has turned out. So if you guys want, if y'all enjoyed this video, Y'all can go down and hit that subscribe button and then y'all can officially say y'all were subscribed to the Wong Nation before he hit a K. Y'all can say y'all were the OGs of the OG. Because best believe I'm not gonna stop. I'm only this is only the beginning. This is what I wanna do. I wanna make YouTube videos. And you know, I feel like I have a good support system around me, a good group of friends who are gonna help me out. And I just can't wait. I'm gonna make bangers, bruh. I'm gonna make bangers. But I don't know, I'm just so motivated to be great. I know I'm destined to do something great. So, it's time to do it. It's time to do it. So, if anything, that was a quick update in my life. And I hope I motivated someone to be great. So I hope I motivated someone. I hope I motivated, I hope I got someone up to follow their dreams and not quit and give up. You know how many times I wanted to quit being a YouTuber, bro? So many fucking times. I've been doing this since 8th grade. So what is that, 2015, 2014? I've been doing it since that, but I've never been consistent until the past maybe year. And in the past, what, year? Two years at least, I've grown from a couple hundred to almost a thousand. Yes, it's taken some years, and I know some people grow way quicker than I did. But this is my own story. I'm not, I'm not like Mr. Beast. That's his own story. How he blew up, that's his own story. This is my own story on how I blew up. So with that being said, Get up, bro. It's your own story. Don't compare your story to someone else's story because everyone's story is different. So to conclude the video, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little update video 
on why I didn't upload last Friday. Y'all know I try to upload every single Friday. Y'all know that. I got a lot of videos pre-recorded, pre-edited where I can upload every single Friday. Last week was a much needed break, a much needed time to reflect, to get motivated. And I was mad. I'm not gonna lie, I was mad that I didn't upload. I was trying to upload every single day for the rest of this year and do Vlogmas. But I, starting now, starting now, of course, I'm gonna do that. But I was mad that I missed that upload. But like I said, everything in life happens for a reason. And, you know, I'm happy that it happened because then I feel like if I, it's like the butterfly effect, you know what I'm saying? If you do something, the whole thing changed. For me, it's like I didn't upload watched an Elliot Troy video and got motivated. You know, everything in life happens for a reason. I solely believe that. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little update video. I hope I motivated some of y'all. And like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all can officially say y'all joined the Wong Nation before we hit a K. Oh, that's so amazing. But yeah, with that being said, I love every single one of y'all. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm trying to bring y'all along on my journey and trying to motivate y'all at the same time. And yeah, just hope y'all enjoy. So with that being said, subscribe, share, and your boys out.